Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is TCP IP model and I will explain similarities and differences between OSA model and TCP IP model. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network subject tutorials. I will provide that link in the description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. TCP IP model, where TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol, and whereas IP stands for Internet Protocol. TCP IP model was developed by Winton Surf and Robert Kahn in 1970s. US Department of Defense, they funded for development of TCP IP model. Guys, if you consider OSA model, OSA model was developed in the year 1984 and TCP IP model was developed in the year 1970s. So, TCP IP model was developed before OSA model. If you consider OSA model, OSA model is a reference model. By seeing this reference model, we can clearly understand how devices will communicate in network. So, it is theory concept. This model is not implemented anywhere. And whereas if you consider TCP IP model, TCP IP model is not a reference model because internet was implemented by using TCP IP model. As all devices are communicating in internet because of TCP IP model. The TCP IP model is a way to understand how devices communicate over a network like the internet. Guys, by seeing TCP IP model, you can clearly understand how device will communicate in internet. Guys, by seeing both OSA model and as well as TCP IP model, we can clearly understand how device will communicate over a network. Though both are used for similar purposes, but they are different. Whereas if you consider OSA model, OSA model contains 7 layers. And whereas if you consider TCP IP model, TCP IP model contains only 4 layers. They are application layer, transport layer, Internet layer and network access layer. Guys, you can remember like this. NITA, that is application layer, transport layer, internet layer and network access layer. Where starting layer is application layer and last layer is network access layer. At first I will explain what is application layer. Application layer deals with applications that are used to access internet. For example, if you consider Google Chrome Firefox, by using that applications, we can access internet. Like we can do web browsing, we can send emails, we can send files, etc. So, application layer will help applications to communicate over the network. This application layer contains four important protocols. I will explain each of them. Yes, for example, I will open any web browser like Google Chrome or Firefox and then I will type http colon double slash www.google.com where http stands for hypertext transfer protocol. Yes, protocols are nothing but rules. If devices want to communicate each other over the internet, then they need to follow rules. We call those rules as protocols. Where HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, by following this protocol, we can do web browsing. That is why whenever you enter any website, you will type HTTP at first. Next, I will explain what is DNS. Guys, DNS stands for Domain Name System. For example, I will open any website like google.com. So, whenever I enter google.com and click enter, in our web browser, there will be DNS. What this DNS will do is, DNS will convert our website name into IP address. And based on this IP address, we will get that website. So, main duty of DNS is to convert our website name into IP address. So, next I will explain what is SMTP, where SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Name itself says Mail Transfer Protocol. So, by using SMTP, we can send emails. And next one is FTP. Where FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. By using this protocol, we can transfer files between computers. Like we can send documents, photos, videos, etc. Guys, there is also Telnet protocol. Guys, Telnet stands for Telecommunication Network. It is a protocol that will allow user to connect to other computer over a network. I will give an example. Guys, for example, I am in India and my friend is in UK. I want to use my friend computer which is in UK. So, simply by using Telnet protocol, we can connect to other computers which are in other locations and we can use. All these are various protocols in application layer. Next I will explain what is transport layer. Transport layer will send data without any errors. So main duty of transport layer is to detect and as well as correct errors. Transport layer contains two protocols. They are TCP and UDP. Where TCP stands for transmission control protocol and whereas UDP stands for user datagram protocol. Guys TCP protocol will not send complete data at a time. Instead, it will divide data into various pieces and then it will send each piece. We call that piece as packet. 
So TCP protocol will send our data by splitting the data into small chunks and then it will send them in order. Guess whenever we send data by using TCP protocol, TCP protocol will check errors. That is why data will be sent to receiver correctly. As TCP protocol will check errors while transferring data, so TCP protocol is very slow. And next one is UDP protocol. UDP protocol will send data from one computer to other computer without checking any errors. That is why data transfer is very fast. And third one is internet layer. This layer is responsible for routing data from one computer to other computer if they are on different networks. As for example, my computer in India is considered as one network and my friend computer in UK is other network. Both networks can communicate each other by using internet layer. So internet layer will assign IP address where IP stands for internet protocol address for devices so that devices can be identified in network. Along with internet protocol, internet layer also contains two other protocols. They are ERP and ICMP, where ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol and whereas ICMP stands for Internet Control Message Protocol. Guys, what ARP will do is, ARP will convert our IP address into physical MAC address. Guys, each and every device contains MAC address. By using that MAC address, we can identify devices. So, at first, data is transferred using IP address and later on, this IP address is converted into MAC address so that receiver will read data. And next one is ICMP. Guys, ICMP is used to give error messages. For example, through IP address, data is reached to router, but after data reached to router, this router cannot find device. So at that time, ICMP will give error messages like device can't find. And last layer is network access layer. So network layer is combination of physical layer and data link layer from OSI model. Network access layer is responsible for sending data physically over the network. Thus, main duty of network access layer is to send data physically over a network. Physically mean either data is sent by using wires or wireless. So, network access layer will decide how data should be sent over different types of networks. As TCP IP contains only 4 layers, this model is simple to understand. So, application layer deals with web browsers like Google Chrome, Firefox and transport layer will ensure data is sent without errors or not. By using internet layer, data is sent between different networks. And whereas network access layer will send data physically over your network, that is either by using wires or wireless. Wireless mean we can send data by using Wi-Fi and wired mean by using Ethernet cables, we can connect to device and we can send data. So network access layer contains Wi-Fi and Ethernet and internet layer contains protocols like IP protocol, ARP protocol and ICMP protocol and transport layer contains TCP UDP protocols, application layer contains Telnet, FTP. SMTP, HTTP and DNS protocols. This is all about TCP IP model. Next I will explain similarities between TCP IP and OSI reference model. Because by using both models, we can identify how device will communicate over a network. These are main similarities. And the first one is layered approach. Both TCP IP and OSI, both are layered models. So both models uses layered approach to divide the communication process into smaller steps, making it easier to design and troubleshoot network and second similarity is data encapsulation guys each layer will add extra information to our data for example one layer will add sender mac address and receiver mac address and other layer will add ip address like that each layer will add extra headers to our data so both models defines how data should be encapsulated at each layer before it moves to the next layer in communication process and third similarity is each layer will perform certain functions Guys, both in OSI model and TCP IP model. Each layer will perform certain tasks. These are three similarities between TCP IP model and OSI reference model. Next, I will explain difference between OSI model and TCP IP model. Yes, OSI model contains seven layers and TCP IP model contains only four layers. OSI model contains application, presentation, session, transport layer, network layer, data link layer and physical layer. And whereas TCP IP model contains application layer, transport layer, internet layer and network access layer and whereas OSI model is reference model just it is a theory concept it is not implemented anywhere and whereas if you consider TCP IP model internet was implemented by using TCP IP model so TCP IP model is not a reference model internet was implemented by using TCP IP model whereas OSI model will say how data must be transferred over a network and whereas TCP IP model has done actual implementation that is Actually, internet was implemented by using TCP IP model. 
guys you know isi model each layer will perform certain task and whereas in tcp ip model so many tasks are given to fewer layers as there are only four layers each layer must handle more tasks when compared to osi model guys in osi model application layer presentation layer and session layer this three are considered as application layers and whereas in tcp ip model there is only one application layer osi model explains various protocols like http ftp smtp etc and whereas tcp ip mainly focus on tcp protocol ip protocol and udp protocol i already said before osi is reference model and whereas tcp ip is de facto standard that is in real world how devices are communicated using internet guys in osi model each and every layer will handle errors and whereas in tcp ip model only transport layer will handle errors in transport layer the two tcp protocol will handle errors these are differences between osi model and tcp ip model